I see large numbers of young people interested in agri, but limited by resources which we have to deal with. We are pushing for agri lending rates to drop to 5%. I expect you to applaud that because unless and until we do so, we will get nowhere. Now if we do, what are the other challenges facing you? Land acquisition, land clearing, mechanization, improved seeds and seedlings, those we can deal with. In your various states, we are talking to governors. So finding your land will not be a problem. Land clearing will not be the headache. But access to technology, to credit, to machinery, is something that we need to work on. The final issue I want to raise is the challenge facing the private sector. So the business is for the private sector to drive and take control of the food industry of Nigeria. Many of you who are going to agriculture today should have this foresight. The opportunities are many, huge. What should be the role of government? Should government continue to compete with private providers in the agricultural space? So, for me, to move from the politics of agriculture to the business of agriculture, certain things need to happen. First, we have to change the mindset and the narrative, particularly within government. So, in my thinking, I just thought, look, we've got to now begin to change the mindset. We have to now begin to make government understand that your role as government is to enable agriculture to happen. And if you're going to enable agriculture to happen, what are the things you should do? First, you have to understand that there's no conflict between large holdings in agriculture and small holdings. The second thing is that as an enabler, one key role you must play as government is to provide data, information. If we as government can't give you the farmers data so that you can you know geolocate your farms and all the equipment in there will be sure changing the, you in the business of agriculture so as government we need to also begin to think about providing just basic infrastructure so that we can move goods and people in and out of agri agricultural locations the other thing we must think about is how do we foster partnerships. The other thing we should think about is capacity. The last thing I think we should think about as we look at how to move from the politics of agriculture to the business of agriculture is how to design transparent implementation plans. Because without a very well articulated plan on how to, it's not going to happen. We have to understand that there are certain investments that we need to make to encourage the private sector to bring funding into the business of agriculture. We heard already that has been said very eloquently, very well, and very moving, has touched my heart. There is population growth, there is rapid urbanization, there is climate change, drought and pests. We need decent jobs, we need perspectives for young people, and we need fundamental changes in our agricultural and food systems to need to address food security and nutrition. You see here the pictures of the sustainable development goals, zero hunger, no poverty, but also the sustainable cities and communities, that's all connected. Then there is something that we call the triple burden of food security. There is hunger or undernourishment, something that we know. But there is also, it has already been said, micronutrient deficiency. Looking at the value chain, I said it is a chain, or it is rather it is a network, and you can make it depict it as complicated as you want. Looking at a country like Nigeria, it is easy to talk about the value chain. It is not so easy to identify the chain. The question is, one back please, 
is in the business case. Are the advantages worth investing in grades and returning grades and washing the grades and everything? That is agriculture. Invest in agriculture. That's for the business. Make it interesting to invest. Roads, infrastructure. Think of your rail, your railway between Kano and Lagos. It still has a, a great potential. Uh, irrigation, land and water rights. Bring some electricity to the rural areas because then they can operate irrigation pumps or use solar. Irrigation and yield gap is very important. Now let me speak to agriculture. So when we got involved in agriculture, the first thing we encountered was just how complex the sector was. We could not pick an area that we wanted to invest in. We made the first investment in Fafik Sahel. Um, that was one of the first investments we made. And we decided to learn the sector gradually. Every speaker here talked about why cost of capital is very high. The real challenge for cost of capital in Nigeria is the lack of equity. Most people build their businesses by borrowing money from banks. Even the equity you're supposed to contribute, you also borrow it from banks. Bank costs is that uh, bank charges are very high, interest rates are extremely high. There is no business I know that can successfully survive on 25% borrowing. And so we decided to take on this private equity challenge. So we started supporting almost every single private equity that's coming to the country. Fertilizer. What was the issue? The big issue with fertilizer was the subsidy racket that was going on. Will farmers actually get the fertilizer or are we just pushing pieces of paper around? Why are we importing 100% compound fertilizer when 65% of the raw materials is local? We have blended plants across the country, 36 of them, and hardly any of them worked. Why? So as we start to ask these questions, uh, we went into this program of importing only 35% of the required raw materials, which is phosphate and potash, and we took on 65% from local markets, moved those raw materials across the blended plants. Your Excellency, with, uh, uh, the Minister of Agriculture, we must do something about the Papa port. This country does not have enough port capacity and we must do something about it. But the farmer clash with Headstone is in so many ways. There are many reasons for it. But one of the ones that we can try and address uh, is actually making sure that we have sustainable agriculture, make sure that we do not allow deforestation, protect our environment. This is really, really important for us. And then finally, I'll just say one last thing. In the course of the agriculture project, we actually started to see a lot of opportunities for industrialization.